Should I wear socks? It's our house. I think we should just wear shoes. What? You put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you scream the other night. Uh, and I didn't do anything. <laughs> When the video comes out, it's gonna be exactly a year and a day, and it still feels like it's not real, you know what I mean? It kind of happens so fast that you don't really get a chance to look back at it until it's over. Yeah. It's fun. What is the fun? So fun. Man, <laughs> whenever I think about it, a little, like a year and like, what, a month ago today, I was just working at Starbucks. People hadn't really ever heard my music and I was just playing like small shows. I wasn't even doing that honestly. Like I was just kind of like playing with the homies after the venue closed because like we didn't really have like a full set. It was just kind of like, yeah, I'm just gonna do music for fun in my room forever when I feel like it. And now, yeah, people kind of like care about what we're doing and it's really, it's really nice. I never thought I'd get to this point. And it's, I'm still kind of just like in shock. Like it doesn't register register to me most days that this is like what I do for a living. There's just so much to think about all the time and I never know what's gonna happen next week. And I like living like that, it's fun. Yeah, like the tranquility of working like a day job and kind of like knowing what to expect on a day-to-day -day basis is nice. But there's also this like allure to like, no matter how low you are that day, you'll never, you never like, you never know where you're going to be next week. You can have like the lowest low ever. And then next week there's this like sudden upturn and it's like I never thought I'd you know what I mean? Like wow, I can't believe I'm here right now. And then vice versa, you know, sometimes you can be like on top of the world and then the next week it's like, oh my god, this is my life. Yeah, I'm really grateful to everybody, really happy most of the time <laughs> that people like my music and part of my French, but there's like, you know that phrase, once a fat kid, always a fat kid? Because I was a really fat kid. And there's this like idea that like, when you grow up feeling a certain way, that trauma stays with you forever and you approach everything like that. Because I grew up a fat, awkward kid. So I like, in my head, it was like, yeah, like I'm always coming at people from underneath. You know what I mean? Like I always just expect them like, yeah, I'm not gonna amount too much. People don't really believe that I can do anything. And it still blows my mind that like, I can post a link to a live stream and have like a hundred people in there in like two minutes. Like that's insane to me. I felt the same way about music, you know? Cause like I hit 26 and I hadn't made money in music since I was like 14. Like, I was just like a strictly hobby musician. I still feel like that. It still baffles me that this is what I do for a living now. Like people believe in what I do and they put money behind what I do. People come to shows, people know the words. Yeah, I just never thought I'd get to this point. Even just thinking about it makes me tear up a little bit now, like, like this close. If I say the right words right now, like it's like, oh, it's over. I want to clear up a misconception. So, not everybody, but like a lot of people think that Sofa is this like suave, sexy R&B song. Oh, this. Yeah, but <laughs> if you look closely, it starts, Josh's part is suave and sexy because that's just who he is. So. <laughs> My part starts off, it says, I see me in you on my bed, in my room, holding hands while we move because I'm way too into you because baby, I don't. So it's not happening. I see it. It's in my head. <laughs> and then what is the chorus? It's not, I am sitting all on my sofa with you. It's, I wish the whole song is the It's a simp song. It's a simp song. I never get the girl in the song. The song is about wishing you could do that with somebody, wishing you could get to know somebody. And the song itself isn't even really about like, you know, the, the good old. It's when I say on my bed, I meant like standing on it and like dancing. Like, oh, in my bed. But I was like, no, if you're in your bed, you're lying down. But if you're on your bed, I was like, 
You know what I mean? When you're jumping on the bed as a kid, on my bed, holding hands while we move, we're dancing. Yeah, it's a simp song. It's not like, look at me, I'm so suave and sexy. Josh's, yeah, but like my part isn't like that at all. My part is like, oh, oh, please. <laughs> Remember what I said earlier about the whole like, what's a fat kid, always a fat kid? I was a fat kid, bro. I have this condition, it's called molluscum contagiosum. It's a fancy word for warts. This was before you were born. I had warts all over my face. <laughs> I looked like this. I looked 47 years old. <laughs> I had warts all over my face. I was overweight. I was really short. And when I would get paired with girls in like lab, they would say, Ew. I didn't know. Wow, so yeah. I was gone when I was born. Like, I got treated. I had to go to the hospital like every few months to get my shit like frozen. Yeah, I know what liquid nitrogen feels like on your face. <laughs> it hurts like shit. <laughs> and being like five years old and then just ah ah. You were five. Yeah. yeah, God. So yeah, like it's the whole like once of awkward. I felt like a loser growing up. I have a lot of friends now, and I like them a lot. I, I don't like them a lot. I love them a lot. You know what I mean? My friends are cool as fuck. Like when I get down to it, when I'm at my most vulnerable, which is typically what I write. Cause that's where I like I get to express how I feel the clearest, the most intimate, you know, when I'm kind of like bouncing off of myself. I guess that's what my inner voice reverts to. I am really craving milk tea right now. <laughs> I want milk tea. Fan reception. I still can't believe it. Like I still like genuinely can't believe the people still rock with Sofa and it's been like a year. Cause normally like the shelf life for pop music is what, six months, eight months. And then like the artist goes on to their next cycle, right? They drop another single, they tease another album, they go on a tour. And it's crazy to me that like people still like, like care about Sofa enough that they still roll with it like that. It makes me feel really special. Cause I, that, that's kind of what I was like see, setting out to do when I wrote it. Like I wanted to write something that was fresh and endearing at the start, but also had like lasting impact because of how simple and earnest it was, I guess, or sincere it was. Like, even if the sound gets old, you know, the feeling and the sentiment of it don't. I wanted to write a song about something timeless, so I was like, well, what can I write about? It's like, what's more timeless than love? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> my point of view. So tell me like when you woke up. Yeah, okay. When I woke up, I like saw that Josh had like tweeted the song and he tweeted like AC's ad. I started seeing all the recognition for the song. I also saw all the people like like starting to follow Ace and I was eating breakfast downstairs. Later on, <laughs> I hear AC. Not you weren't like screaming yet. I don't think. I think you just. I think, I I think you just walked out. <laughs> yeah. He just walked out on the fucking balcony, and then he gave us like this look. He was just like, and then I looked at him like from up, uh, from downstairs, and he was like, "I'm trending. What the fuck is going on?" And then he ran his mouth and he goes, Ugh, and he starts throwing. <laughs> I walked out like this. Yeah. Zoom in on that window. Zoom in on that window. This is what happened, okay? I was like eating. And I looked up. <laughs> I was like, Ace! Did you- <laughs> And then I ran into the bathroom, bro, and I was just like on the toilet, I was like this. For context, like I had like a hundred followers and like most of them were just friends. And <laughs> like I woke up and I had like 3k or something. And I was like, what the hell? And <laughs> so I was just on the toilet, just like reading about people. Oh my god, they like the song! <laughs> People are listening to my music. <laughs> it was such a shift, man. It was like I went from because I've worked like a lot of minimum wage jobs. I've worked like gas stations. I've worked at like I was a fry cook and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I was just kind of just like yeah, like I'm just like I'm a dude that works a minimum wage job and I drive a beater car and I live with my three roommates in a two bedroom and I sleep on the couch and I'm never really gonna amount to much, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, yeah, like I've, I've accepted my role delegated by society. I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything fantastic with my life, but that's okay, this is beautiful. I like my quaint, like, I don't wanna say mundane, but familiar 
life. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life, and that's okay. <laughs> and then it's like, oh my god, like, I still don't like the word fan. I think that's weird. I don't like saying I hate that, dude. I was like, oh, it's the fans. No, it's like, those, these are people. They have moms, they have dads. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when you say fan, it's like, it's like calling someone an it. They become a thing. <laughs> you know, I hate that. These are people, these are human beings. If we met under another context, we would be friends. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, like I'm here and they're here. Yeah. And I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. What? Hierarchy. Hierarchy? Yeah. Like... Hierarchy. Oh, hierarchy. I thought I was like, <laughs> I said, do you want me to raise my voice? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Tatasha, come on, you bitch. <laughs> I don't like the idea of that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Higher key. Was like, damn, what? I don't like fans. <laughs> I don't like the word fans. I don't like that idea because again, like, I'm a fan of a lot of things. I'm a massive fanboy. When I was a kid, I had like hella posters, just like bands. I would wait in line at Best Buy to buy a copy of an album the day it came out, watch the interviews. You remember those? The, like, if it was like, like, uh, Maybe you didn't reach it. This is a different gender. I'm gonna like age myself here. But so on Tumblr, Tumblr was a big phantom website, right? That's kind of like a lot of where it started, then they just kind of migrated to Twitter. But what they would do is if you were a fan of, say, Pierce the Veil, it would be a blog like a Tumblr, and it would be called Fuck Yeah, Pierce the Veil. Or like if it was, oh, you're a fan of like the Savior Big Point, then you'd be like, oh yeah, Fuck Yeah, Big Point. Then. If it was Fuck Yeah, blank, it's a fan account of that thing. And I followed so many of those, bro. I would just, I, they would just post like stand clips, like interview clips, funny moments, compilations. And I just, I've always been like a massive fanboy myself. So the idea that people do like feel that way about me is insane. Like when people clip my streams or like just footage, it's just like, wow. Like I used to watch these of other people. I know. If I could remember every single person and like get to know every single person I would like to. It's just math, like I guess math would that be impossible. Yeah, so that's how I feel about that. Don't fuck it in the back of the bus and yep. feel her nose up full of dust. Yep. Three six mafia, wild on tour, yep. whooping these niggas that fucking these whores yep. in the bathroom by two.